do is uh, events on Hotel Terrace and it involves the headmaster Toby and his wife Celia. They run a private prep school uh, in the home counties and the other characters we come across are Lionel who is the school caretaker groundsman and Sylvie who is the home help for, for Celia. Lionel where are you off to now you run bugger! I'll break a bloody neck when I find her I bloody will! Bugger. It's an intimate comedy. You don't like marzipan, do you? No, I loathe it. Oh, well, I love it. If you've reached a stage in your life, as I think I have, where everything does seem to have come to a terrible halt, like someone's stopped the film with their thumb or something and it's all over and, and finished. Miles is a quite nervous man, quite insecure. A lot of that's brought about by the fact that his wife is cheating on him incessantly. I also play Toby, who's the uh, headmaster of the school there, and he has slightly gone to seed. He enjoys his drink a little too much, and I think he's slightly given up a, a lot of hope on life. Five minutes ago, we didn't agree about anything. Now there's a glimmer. Give us another five years. I'll come up with something else. Lionel is the local uh, groundsman caretaker of the school, 34, has a very high regard of himself, thinks of himself as a bit of a sex symbol. But there, there was a vast class and social difference. I mean, she had a title and he was a gamekeeper. I mean, I, I'm just straight middle class. I did a season, actually not with Alan Aitborn, with some other directors up in Scarborough in 2007 and Intimate Exchanges was on there and I saw a couple of the past and thought, wow, I'd love to, I'd love to have a crack at that because it's just, it's such a fantastic adventure for an actor. And I play Celia Teasdale, who's the headmaster's wife. I then play Sylvie Bell, who uh, is a kind of country girl who works as a cleaner for the headmaster's wife. You don't give a bloody monkeys! It's how to stretch the, uh, the, the possibilities of theatre, and this play stretches them to the absolute limit and back again. Oh, oh, I don't know. I think life might be easier. I'm glad you are. A woman? Yes. Makes it worthwhile being a man. Thank you. I think I'm going to have to go inside for a minute and lie down, uh, wash my hair or something, I don't know. Would you, would you excuse me? It, it has um, uh, moments of tenderness, moments of sadness, moments of pathos, and as ever with Alan Lakeborn, huge comic moments as well. My mother worked in the laundry, and I'm a master baker. A what? Baker. Oh. I trained. I got certificates. This is an absolute one-off theatrical experience. And what's Gwyn like to work with? Well, he's warming up. Uh, he's great, he's That's great. Fine. <laughs> I know, it's fine. <laughs> How is it working with Ruth? <sighs> okay, that's <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.